Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this video and this video is something that I'm going to talk about which I technically I'm not involved in and then technically I suppose that I am now if you're watching this video you no doubt know that it's gameplay holy shit I'm doing a commentary video yes every commentary I video every commentary video I do to you comes with no ads no no nothing no no monetization at all because I want to try and prove that this will not take over my account so if I don't make any money from it and so forth so on and that seems to be the big thing in uh, in the call of duty community if you will and youtube in general at the moment and uh, before we get started in that i'm actually using the hd pvr which i bought it arrived today and i've been trying it out so if anyone knows some good compression and render settings then send them my way because at the moment i'm kind of uh, you know, blind firing on my own knowledge of uh, video editing which in the render department and the capturing department really isn't that sufficient so what is up in arms, everyone now in the Call of Duty community, I despise that, but I suppose in some sick and twisted way we are actually in a Call of Duty community. I like to consider myself part of the gaming community because I am comprehensible enough to talk about more than one thing at a time. Now I'm doing this commentary live because I really can't imagine doing it any other way and the microphone is right in my face, as you know, so that's why I play bad, so excuse me. Um, but seriously, everyone's up in arms about the Call of Duty community commentators. He did this, he did that, you know, he's, he's just wanting money and all this kind of stuff. And I think that it's true that any time that you bring money into anything, then people will start to do so stuff differently. Like me, personally, yes, I'm a YouTube partner. People think that I get paid thousands of dollars every week. You know, the reality is that I get very little, maybe $20 a week if I'm lucky, which adds up. And then I like to spend that money to enhance things for my YouTube. So with the money that you guys have got me and the YouTube has got me, I've bought this capture card, microphones, cameras, you know, to help that. And I think that it would be selfish of me um, to go and spend that money on myself or material goods for myself, such as clothing and stuff like that, that really doesn't have a purpose with what where the money come from uh, comes from. So for that reason, I don't consider this a job. You know, I'm 18, I'm going, you know, I'm going back to school next year to study um, computer science. That is the industry I want to get into. I don't think that this is a very good industry to get into because you probably don't get paid enough money. And I can't speak for people on Machinima and people that have hundreds of thousands of subscribers because I'm relatively miniature in this department. But I think that when you have to rely on other people to watch and other people to click, I think that that is a bit iffy for a job, so I would like to better myself. But, I mean, what are these people going to do when they're, when they're grown up and 30 years old? You know, I can't see... I, commentary videos at the moment are stale. I've, I've never been into any commentary videos at all myself, um, but I know a lot of people are, and now you know you've seen everything they've shown you everything there is to see in the call of duty world and now they're doing what i am doing now using a gameplay to get views for something unrelated to what's going on if that makes sense and i think that that cheats the fans you know because if for example wings of redemption i know a lot of other people hutch does it you know if I think that if you didn't have the gameplay, you wouldn't be as popular. And I think that if you want to get on here and talk about, you know, monogamy or whatever, you know, they talk about, then use a camera like I seem to do. You know, I don't, I don't understand why people hide behind gameplay. And in terms of machinima, you know, I really don't like machinima because the things that they put on there go viral so easy. And then the whole Call of Duty, you know. Quick scoping, for instance, I blame on the people at Machinima and, and people that do Call of Duty because I hate it. Look, everyone in this game is a practically using a sniper rifle, you know, and I can understand that that is a that is a way that people play the game, but it's irritating, you know, to for have people. Oh, God damn it, I missed him. So I'm not the best sniper as you can see, but you know, it's irritating to have people on your team that see. Look at this guy. What's he doing? So. I, to me, you know, I suppose it's a thing of personal choice, but I think that when things like Machinima and that pay people money to show exploits and show all these hacks and... Well, not hacks, but you, un you understand what I mean. And they go viral so very easy that it makes me angry. And I think that it takes... And a lot of people have said this, and I don't think... I know, you know, it takes away from gaming. Gaming is here to have fun, and gaming is here you know, for an outlet, to, for whatever you need, you know, I don't think that 
people showing gameplay should be a job. I don't think... I, I, I mean, because this is, comes from my personal taste. You know, I bought this game. Why do I want to watch somebody else play it? And uh, people say, oh, because they're entertaining, and people say because it shows you new things. I'm pretty confident that by now people have Call of Duty down to a science by themselves. And when you do everything that a YouTube commentator does... You know, you're taking away that personal, you know, touch to it. You know, they create a class. That's what do you want in a thing, not what does some guy with 400,000 subscribers and it's actually very good at the game. What does he What does he or she use? You know, it takes away individuality in terms of customization, kill streaks, perks, create a class, like I mentioned. And, you know, there's this huge drama now between them, and I don't know, it's just such a... You know, so that's why... I've done this video just to let you guys know that I'm not going down that avenue unless you really want me to go down the commentary avenue. I personally don't, and I don't think I will because I think that my good gimmick of sta of you know sitting there with my lesbian hair in full view bitching about things, I think is more entertaining than this. Um, so that's pretty much my video. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna finish the game because the file size will be immense and I've really got nothing else to talk about to be quite honest. So I'm not gonna keep recording. Just let the game run. I will leave the game in a moment. I'll rage quit when something bad goes wrong. But, you know, this is just my thoughts on the whole commentary scene and the whole making money doing it. And I've gave, given these thoughts, you know, before, but I think I thought I would do it again in this kind of environment. So that's my video, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Au revoir.